hi cancers welcome to antique tarot today we're going to do a love reading for you guys for january 2024 i hope you all had a happy holiday uh christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate it if you don't celebrate christmas and wishing all the cancerian out there a very happy a happy uh new year a happy 2024 all right so let's see uh what what is the current energies for you guys so we're going to start out with this oracle deck to see what is the current energy for cancer wow shadow fear pain trauma dark night purge cleanse clear release all right so this is good so starting out the new year it looks like you guys are going to be purging anything that is not for your highest good so some of you cancerian who uh are watching or who may be watching have uh, been working on your sh uh, shadow side working on releasing the shadow side you may have been going through the dark night of the soul uh, feeling the pain the sorrow the trauma maybe working on childhood trauma uh, working on healing your inner child soul growth and then purging that cleanse clear release so the new year is a good time to purge and release and cleanse so some of you may have been doing some deep healing work and things may have come up to the surface to be released so uh, and it may have to do with relationships since we're doing love reading so whatever uh healing that you need it uh in regards to relationship to heal yourself to be whole and complete so you can attract a whole and complete person so that you can attract a good healthy relationship going forward uh whatever blockages in regards to love intimacy it looks like you are going to be purging and releasing that in the coming year for 2024 that's a good time to release manifestation magic belief faith so moving forward you're going to be uh, manifesting uh, something for yourself that is of higher quality that is magical that may be um you know too good to be true because here we have a unicorn and then it says believe have faith so have faith that you deserve good things and uh and good things will come to you and you can manifest it all right uh, and part of it is knowing what you want so you might want to journal or write down or visualize the perfect mate the perfect relationship the qualities you're looking for the qualities you want to attract the qualities you may need uh, and want in a uh, relationship in a love relationship uh, essence soul authenticity signature vibration so this is the same right so manifesting someone that is equally yoked to you that has the same vi vibrational match for you on a soul level who is authentic who is real versus someone with a mask on or is phony or fake and signature vibration and you'll know it based on you know how you feel energetically vibrationally you can't say you're not very intuitive so you can feel it and you want to manifest someone who's equal to you so that they compliment you all right and not out of need or necessity or or a wound or um or a self-abandonment or you know any of that because you're purging that so now you're going to manifest someone that is uh, for your highest good who will compliment you and love you for who you are and I say, say that the next card at the bottom of the deck is lovers divine counterpart chemistry partnership that is so synchronistic so synchronistic yes that's exactly what I'm saying and that's what you're going to be doing in the coming year is now that you've released something that no longer serve you or qualities or a person or traits uh, situation that no longer serve you you're going to start the new year manifesting uh, something that is good that is right that is your vibrational match that is your divine counterpart where there is chemistry uh, partnership equal give and take and balance see these two swans they're balanced together 
together they create a heart. 50-50, their, their half and your half together creates a whole heart. 50-50 equal giving and taking, equal sharing, equal uh, match, equally yoke, vibrating at the same level as you who compliments you. All right. Receiving. Look at this red rose. Gratitude, appreciation, acceptance. So you have lovers and then you have a red rose. So receiving love, passionate love, romantic love coming in and something you've manifested that your soul is uh, longing or desiring or manifesting. And then you have choice, decision, options, possibility, hesitation. So you may have uh, more than one love suitor. You may have a choice to choose from. Uh, so there may be an option there in regards to love, but love is coming in. And one of the choices is your true counterpart, your, 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 um, your match. And it says here, innocence, unconditioned, trusting, vulnerable, pure. All right, so unconditional love, someone that you can share your true inner child with, someone that you feel that you can be vulnerable with, let down your shell, let down your guard, uh, trust, you know, trust them uh, and letting them in. All right. Uh, present, mindfulness, silence, meditate, breathing, breathe. So when you, when you come or when you're faced with this choice, uh, you may want to take some time to meditate and be present. And that will help you with the decision and the choice to, to pick, you know, the right mate. If once you get to that bridge and you're faced with two uh, suitors um, and spirit saying, go within, meditate. Go into the silence and trust your heart, trust your intuition, trust your feeling, and follow your heart. And you know, as I say that, there's guidance, wisdom, learning, new information. Yeah, so meditate. So when you are faced with this choice or confronted with this choice in regards to love this coming year in January 2024 or beyond, um, be present, go within, meditate and then trust your guidance, trust the wisdom, trust your heart, follow your heart, follow your intuition. All right, temptation. Ah, there may be temptation, impulse, betrayal. All right, so you have two choices. Uh, one, you know, you may be tempted or you may be tested. Uh, there may be someone this is an apple it reminds me of the uh the child story fairy tale of snow white you know how she was offered the apple by the witch it turned out to be a poison apple so that's part of the shadow side so be careful you know you may be tested or the universe may test you as you vibrate as you raise your vibration and vibrating higher um, and purging this and leaving this behind. You may get a final test, a final quote unquote final exam, and you may be tested with the choice. Spirit saying, go within, trust your guiding, trust yourself, trust your heart, follow your heart, ask for clarity, guidance, go within, trust in the silence, uh, and be in the stillness um, with meditation, then you know, you know, you'll, you'll pass your task because you may be tempted. You know, and here we have ego, right? So coming from your heart and not your ego because you, you'll be tested. Stability, security, grounding, strength, safety. So moving forward, there's going to be a stable, solid uh, foundation for you. And then spirits are reminding you to look, look at the bigger picture. Have a bigger picture perspective. You know, what, what do you want long term? What are you looking for uh, in a mate, in a relationship? Uh, as far as your purpose, your goals in life, where you want to go? Um, what are you looking for in a mate and in a relationship? All right. So I'm just checking because a few cars fell. I just want to make sure nothing fell down on the ground. I don't think so. I think I picked it up. So. One second while I check. Yeah, I think I got them. They fell on my chair. 
excuse me all right pull my chair back so uh so keep a uh keep a big you know a big picture when you are faced with a choice or when you're trying to choose when you're faced with this choice keep the big picture perspective uh, for the future all right and then the card underneath that I saw is protection all is well you are safe all right so you are protected from any negativity or anything that's not serving you or for your higher good and then patient trust and divine timing maturing persistence all right so as you purge and you move forward and you manifest this new love new connection um, you may be faced with a choice and then when you are faced with that choice or confronted with that choice meditate be still go within trust your guidance and uh, and look at the overall picture big perspective for your future what it is you want to manifest or want in a partner be patient with yourself and trust and know that you are protected and the bottom of the deck we have union unity oneness merging so you will be merging with someone that is equal to you heart to heart remember I said the lovers here we have two swans, one swan have one half, the other swan have the other half. Together they make a whole heart. And then we have the red rose. Ooh, bottom of the deck, uh, top of the deck is joy. I was gonna pull this. We have union, and then we have top of the deck is joy. Play, celebration, full lightness. Yeah, so good things are coming in for you guys in love, it looks like, for 2024. All right, so that is what the oracle cards have to say i didn't realize i was going to do half of the reading with the oracle cards i was just pulling to get the uh the energy for you guys uh in love coming in but it came out and i just went with it it just kind of flow and each time i say something the next card seemed to validate what i was saying so that was really nice it flowed nicely so let's see what is what does cancer cancer need to know for January 2024 in love look you guys how synchronistic is that we were talking about getting together lovers union equal match someone of equal vibration and the first card that jumped out and you f you saw it, it jumped out of the deck two of cups with a big red heart behind it getting together true love your equal match someone that match your vibration is coming in for you in 2024 how beautiful we have lovers union receiving and then we have this two of cups how perfect is that beautiful beautiful oh my god you guys bottom of the deck we have the twin flame cards four of wands getting together they're both holding a bouquet getting together celebration and we have the stability so this relationship this new or reunited or reconnection relationship coming in is very stable the four number four represents uh, stability foundation and this is a very stable foundation very solid stable committed connection and there's a celebration getting together uh, perhaps even le leading to marriage as well wow here's your earth sign knight of pentacles is coming in look at this knight of pentacles this is your earth sign virgo taurus or capricorn and he's on wheels usually <laughs> traditionally is a guy in a horse slow moving so I get a sense that because he's on wheels I think it's going to move a little quicker because earth sign tend to be slow moving the earth sign um, but slowly steadily but very reliable responsible but I think in 2024 
he's it's the pace is going to pick up your earth sign is going to be coming towards you a little faster it's going to speed up a little bit but remember you guys did have the patience card so patience because we have the snail sort of like a snail thing here divine timing mature and persistence so trust in the universe but it looks like uh it may possibly be an earth sign and they are coming but still coming slowly steadily but it looks like the pace is going to be moved up a notch all right going to be a little quicker and then we have commitment because i was saying here four of ones solid foundation stability and perhaps leading to marriage eventually and then we have the hierophant which is uh commitment and there's two people and then we have the keys all right so it looks like a connection a reunion a union and actually we do have union here we have the swans which is uh, swans mate for life this is long term we have the rose passionate love we have joy we have union two hearts coming together uh, we have the two of cups two people coming together we have the four of wands two people coming together and then we have an earth sign then we have the hierophant commitment all right very nice lovely energy we have a new start okay clarity mental mental clarity it could represent communication message coming in uh, you may get a message that your person is coming to see you or coming to visit you this guy is looking out into the open water and it also represents your ship have come in as well traditionally and here we have the six of pentacles equal give and take a very balanced energetically i feel a very balanced connection a very balanced relationship coming in and here you are empress all right so it's it's more than likely a a, a twin flame connection as i say that we have temperance one foot she's standing on water the other one on land very very balanced and it just came to me just now you are water so cancer represents water and then uh, virgo capricorn or taurus represents earth so half of her is on the water half of her is on land which is earth and then we have this knight of pentacles which is an earth sign uh, chances are your person is an earth sign and I, I see balance equality someone I said equally yoke e matching you vibrationally with the two swans and this union and now we have this temperance and it's the first time I know the temperance card but it's the first time that this is really standing out so whoever this person this earth sign that's coming in uh, for you cancer is very balanced i'm going to turn this light off so that you don't see this glare so you can see the cards very balanced uh, between water and earth you and them so uh, if they're not an earth sign sun they have an earth earth uh, sign in their chart somewhere but this connection i feel that's coming in for you in 2024 is uh very balanced very balanced you guys complement each other really well it's one of those connection where you just have to have a look or look at each other and you just know uh, one of those people where you don't even need to talk you just kind of know you hit it off you click you understand each other and you just need a smile a look a wink uh, and you just understand each other so that's your other counterpart and look you guys seven of cups so here's the choice and options all right seven of cups you may have more than one love suitor or choice so there you are faced with a choice or an option some of you may be walking away uh, tying up loose ends from from something that no longer serves you there's a saturn here and then here's the moon uh, saturn energy may may be uh, prominent as well as the moon which you guys are a moon child so you may you may uh, be faced with a choice that you have to walk away from okay uh, and it may be part of this past that you have to walk away from and starting starting a new solid um, 
connection and I feel this it may be a job too some of you may be starting a new job as well because pentacles is money career money yeah see moving away to a better place after all this negativity dark night of the soul um, and a message coming in a message of passion and love and starting new taking that leap of faith starting new starting a new chapter in your life starting new starting over starting fresh starting fresh and new and we have queen of pentacles and then we have uh ace of cups so new love there is an earth sign that's prominent we have knight of pentacles in this reading and we also have queen of pentacles either that or or you have this trait uh, this tr the trait of an earth sign where you're feeling very comfortable, very solid, very stable, very secure, very abundant. But new love is coming in. All right. New love, new emotions. All right. Anything else? Anything else? Let's see. What deck? What? 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 Let's pull some oracle cards and see. The energetically Cancerian, as I said before, and it's worth repeating, this new energy, new love, new connection that you're manifesting coming in feels very balanced. Very, very nice. Very nice. Equal give and take. You don't feel like you're constantly giving and they're constantly taking or vice versa. You guys complement each other very nicely. Very nicely. And I hear best friends. So it's kind of like a best friend and a lover all wrapped up in one sounds really nice additional message for the cancerian collective wow withdrawn single lonely solitary so this to me represents a hermit energy so we talked about the earth sign and the person may be a virgo and they may be in introspection right now and this looks like that that this card right here where i say the ship's coming in so right now they're contemplating, thinking, planning, manifesting, thinking about maybe perhaps traveling to you in the new year. All right. So what else does cancer need to know? What else does cancer need to know? All right. Let's shuffle some more. Final messages for cancer. What does cancer need to know, spirit? messages for the Cancerian Collective who will be tuning in watching in regards to their love connection for January 2024. What does Cancer Collective need to know in regards to their person and love for 2024, January 2024? Final messages, Final outcome for cancer and their person, their love interest for 2024. I guess there's no additional messages. Any additional messages? Okay, no cards are coming out. I'm going to cut the deck. buying social network information ways oh so they may be watching you so they may be quiet and withdrawn right now but they may be checking you out or keeping tabs on you uh you know curious as to what you're up to so they may be looking you up maybe online or keeping tabs keeping tabs of you online all right so let's put that deck back and see if there's anything else. Let's see, is there anything else that feels hmm, incomplete? Surrender cards. I don't have my surrender cards here. I was thinking, I was thinking, uh, I was going to do surrender cards. So let's see. Let's do some angel cards. Final angel card. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay. 
So Spirit's saying this person, you can trust them. Because remember, we have trust. I think we have trust. Yeah, we did. That's this right here. Oh, uh, no, not this one. There was one that had trust in it. Here it is, innocence. Unconditioned, trusting, vulnerable. Oh, yeah. Remember I said this person, you can let your guard down come out of your shell, your cancerian shell and trust. So spirit is reiterating that it is safe because you may have been through a lot with all this energy in the past and spirit is saying, confirming it is safe for you to love, to open your heart, to give and receive the highest energy of all. Because this person coming in is a good person, an honest, decent person, someone you can let your walls down, let your guard down and trust them and be vulnerable. Uh, with them and allow them to come in. All right. And then the next uh, card on top of the deck is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And we've seen that because I, I said with this, right? Four of Wands, Two of Cups, Union, and then the Hierophant commitment, uh, perhaps long term. I mean, not right away, not necessarily 2024 but what i'm saying is this energy this connection that's starting that's coming in eventually long term down the road it's uh, there's a potential for it to lead to uh, engagement marriage long-term commitment all right of course there's always free will you have free will they have free will and uh, anything can happen but the potential is there the energy is there uh for long-term engagement and commitment and that was the uh that was the confirmation of that. All right, Cancerians. So very beautiful, lovely, uh, pure, high vibrational, complimentary energy for you guys going into January 2024. So very, very nice. Very nice reading. New love coming in. Um, so I hope that's your reading. Let me know in the comments if it resonated. Wishing you all the best. Love and light to you, Cancerian out there. Happy 2024. Happy New Year. And I will catch you again on the next video. Bye, Cancers.